Dry clean your togas. It's college week on Hollywood Squares. Starring Alf, Lorenzo Lamas, Olympic medalist Apollo Anton Ono, Kathy Griffin, Mario Lopez, Kennedy, Martin Mull, Jerry Shepard. This week's center square, Howie Mandel! And your host, Tom Bergeron! Thank you, Jeffrey Sandmore. Uh, give it up for Howie. He's been doing a fine job holding down oh, thank you. center square this thank week. You. And I was, up till like four I was up till four in the morning cramming for the semifinals. Oh, <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad. We'll all be the wiser for it here in the semifinals of Ooh. our Hollywood Squares College Tournament. Our winner today will be back for the finals on Friday where they could win this lovely Jeep Wrangler convertible and our nifty Hollywood Squares College Tournament trophy. <laughs> all right. Let's meet our semifinalists today. Coming back from Ohio State University with the $31,500. Sean Collier, good to see you again, Sean. And from USC with $33,000, Tim Phillips. Welcome, guys. Good to see you again. Now, you realize those dollar amounts today mean nothing. We're back to a square one as we compete in the semifinals. It's still tic-tac-toe, though. First game's worth $1,000. You decide if the answers the stars are giving are correct or they're just making them up. That's how you get the squares. Who won the coin toss backstage? Uh, I did. All right, Tim. Howie Mandel. Howie at the MGM Grand in Vegas, April 24th to May 7th. Howie, how does a giraffe clean its ears? Um, it would pr probably hire a monkey with a squeegee. It would, uh... <laughs> You know, I, honestly, I know this because uh, uh, it, it, uh, what they do is they shake it uh, with water. They would shake, the, they shake their ears till, the, and and that propels the wax. That's how I do it, but I mean, that, I think I do it like a giraffe. I think uh, that they shake their ears in water. All right. I disagree. No, they use their tongue. Num wow. num num. Next, gets the square. John. Martin Mall, please. Martin Mall. All right, Martin. A clinic in Belgium is charging couples over $6,000 to do what before their babies are even born? In Belgium. In Belgium. Okay, I don't know that much about the, uh, the Belch. Uh, <laughs> that is correct, isn't it? Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> they call themselves the Belch. <laughs> Belch. Um, uh, I think they, uh, make you, make sure that you can pay for the education before, uh, the child is born. It's for okay. education. All right. I'm going to agree. No, they use lasers on the sperm to pick out the sex of the child, is, is what they do. Uh, so X gets that one. Uh, right for you, Tim. Alf for the win. For the win, yeah. Alf, of course. Uh, uh, in those 1010 10, 220 commercials. Thank you. Hey, Alf, in the old song, why did the bear go over the mountain? Well, uh, obviously someone cut his brakes. <laughs> <laughs> Bears are lousy drivers, you know that? They really are. The bear went over the mountain mm -hmm. to, um, to see what he could see. I disagree. To see what he could see. Circle yeah. gets a block oh, there, Sean. Yeah. You're still alive here. All right, Kathy Griffin, please. Kathy Griffin. All right, Kath. <laughs> According to an old Boy Scout custom, what should you never do? when handing someone a knife? Say, die, punk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I actually know this. You're, you're actually not supposed to hand the knife back without saying thank you. I disagree. That's right. Uh, you're not supposed to hand it back till the other person says thank you. Yep. That, that's right. So uh, X gets that square. <laughs> Apollo Antonono. Uh, Apollo <laughs> Antonono competing at the U.S. Speed Skating Championship, Bay City, Michigan, from the 28th to March 2nd. Apollo, which Greek god was the ruler of the upper world? The Greek god. Well, considering that most of my questions in the past have been about my name, mm -hmm. I'm going to have to go with Apollo. Apollo for the I win. disagree. Zeus. Zeus. Zeus yeah. X gets it on the win for $1,000. Let's go right into a thousand dollar secret square game and let's find out what's in the secret square stash today.
I suggest that you let your mouse do the walking. Get the home computer and more. At HPShopping.com, you can choose from the complete selection of HP consumer products like the HP Pavilion Notebook PC and HP PhotoSmart 812 Digital Camera. Plus certificates for accessories all worth $3,000. <laughs> Let's show all of you at home who the secret square is. All right, now you know. Tim, you won the first game. You start. Howie Mandel. All right, Howie. <laughs> the queen of soul, Aretha Franklin, is so afraid of something, she's missed some great work opportunities. What is she afraid of? Oh, bar mitzvahs. You find it, no, you laugh, but I'm a Jew, and I, I've been to many bar mitzvahs, and you never see her there. <laughs> Actually, the, the truth is flying. She won't fly. I agree. She will not fly. That's right. X gets the square. Sean. Kennedy. Kennedy. All right, Kennedy. Host of Friend or Foe on the Game Show Network. An object at rest stays at rest is whose first law? Oh, my God, that's a law now? <laughs> what is with this country? Good. Um, Sir Isaac Newton. I agree. Sir Isaac Newton, yes, the first law of motion. Circle. Get that when we get a break. It's semi final action. Which one of these guys is going to the finals? We'll find out after this. Let's go! Goodness. This is like the perfect boy toy. Oh my gosh. Look at the high heels. That's some, that's hot. That's some hot stuff. That's hot. Apollo. I'll that. teach you. I didn't answer right. Maybe you got an answer one, right. right. You were great and you're funny. <laughs> you're so funny. Actually, I'm not looking at what he says. I'm looking at how he looks. I can't even oh. concentrate. Oh, look at this. Promotional consideration furnished by the following. Square game underway, and we'll get back to that after our students say hi to you once again. Sean Collier, remind us about yourself and your school. Okay, I'm from the Ohio State University. I live and was born in Columbus, Ohio. I'm a communications major, and I would someday like to do sports broadcasting, possibly even for ESPN. All right, good enough. Ricard, this is a resume reel. <laughs> Tim Phillips, remind us about yourself and your school. Uh, I'm a native Angelino majoring in business and cinematology, and my career goal is to be a Hollywood agent. Oh, okay. Oh, All right. Yes! Okay. We need another we'll talk one. to you later. <laughs> Your turn, Tim. Uh, Apollo and Todd oh! Onak. Oh, Secret Square. Oh! All right. Secret Square, Apollo. All right, Apollo, as you know, it's Hollywood Square's yearbook time uh, all week, all right. and we've got a little yearbook photo of a popular star. Is this Diane Sawyer, Celine Dion, or Goldie Hawn? Ooh. I know it's not Celine Dion. Diane Sawyer? All agree? No, it's uh, Goldie Hawn. It's Goldie Hawn. So Circle yeah, yeah. gets that square. Actually, I thought it was Kate, Kate Hudson. Hudson myself. Yeah. Sean? <laughs> Martin Mull, please. Martin Mull. Okay, Martin. <laughs> Ironically, VH1 named this the greatest love song of all time, even though it's about breaking up forever. What is it? Well, the greatest love song of all time, for my money, is a song called If You Won't Leave Me Alone, I'm Going to Find Somebody Who Will. Uh, <laughs> let's see. It's about breaking up forever? Forever. That would be killing me softly. I disagree. Whitney Houston singing I Will Always Love You. Circle gets the square. Tim. Mario Lopez for the block. All right, Mario from the other half with Dick Clark and company. Mario, in a spoof on the Forbes 500, Forbes made a list of the fictional 15, the richest fictional characters in America. Who came in first? Oh, 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 uh, that uh, cat from The Simpsons. Um, you know, the, the rich one, Montgomery Burns. I agree. No, actually, it was, according to these Forbes people, Santa Claus, don't you know he's real? Santa came in uh, number one, so we can't give you that wow. one, Sean. All right. Kathy Griffin for the win. All right, Kathy yeah. for the win. And a tie game. Besides Weight Watchers, who does Fergie credit with helping her keep the weight off? It better not be Jenny Craig or I smell a lawsuit. 
Uh, no, okay, she's a royal, and I'm going to say they're always troubled by the media. I'm going to say the media. The media for a tie game. I agree. It is the media. Yes, they're constant scrutiny. We have a tie. We have a tiebreaker when we come back in our semifinals right after this. Everybody starts to applaud, okay? We'll say cue the band. We want you, we'll have to set a place for them to come from off stage over here by the band. We're waiting to go on stage to be famous. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, there's no opening in there. Well, can't they, can, they, can they just scoot around? We're used to being stars. It's part of our um, image. Promotional consideration furnished by the following.